Hi everybody! Mm, the camera looks a bit bent. Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maya and this is Inspired by Maya. So today I'm going to be making my birthday dress. Um, my birthday is tomorrow and it's one o'clock so hopefully I can get this all sewn up by the end of the day. I actually had a different plan for this project but it just didn't work out. I'll show you what happened. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be upcycling this like really not cute bed sheet that I have that's around my I'm gonna make it into a summer dress because I want a dress for my birthday and it's my birthday next week Friday it's Friday this it's one week before my birthday it's one week before This is like it's got like a halter neck, mm, not really, but kind of halter neck style, and then the back's got ties on it, ruched ties, and then there's tiered gathers. Yeah, so that's what I'm gonna be doing. Obviously, the color of this fabric's not really nice, so I'm gonna bleach it. But I've never bleached anything before, so I don't, I don't know how it's gonna turn out to be honest, because it's got like reds and blues on it. But we'll see. So. It's an experimental piece, but um, I think I think it'll be cool. Okay, so I'm gonna fill up the bathtub with cold water. It says do three parts full. I'm probably gonna do it to about here, and then I'm gonna add bleach, one third of bleach. I actually don't know what I'm doing, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna try. I feel like that's enough, hopefully. So I'm just gonna roll the bleach on top. Um, I've done the cover facing this way because this is the part that I want to get rid of the most. Like, if more action happens, I want it to be on this side. So, yeah. The other thing is, it's um, it's like floating in the water. It's not, it's not going down. But hopefully that doesn't affect it too much. I think it might turn out to be more like like a tie dye thing. Like it's not gonna be bleached completely white. Like I don't, I didn't think that would happen anyway. But I feel like it's it's gonna be really patchy. We'll see, anyways. You know, it's just cool. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna leave it and hope for the best. It doesn't look like anything's happened. I don't think this is gonna work. It looks exactly the same. Not even like no runoff color or anything. I think this is gonna be a flop. Guess what guys? <laughs> it was a fail. It was a fail. It was a big, big, big fail because I think the fabric is a color fast design, which means that bleach isn't gonna make it fade or run or anything so mm -mm, that was a fail <laughs> so i'm gonna have to make it out of this white fabric that i have already um it'll still look nice it will look nice i'm a bit upset that it didn't work because i really wanted to try bleaching i had done it before so so yeah now i need to use this white fabric that i have i think that it'll look quite nice to be honest i just wanted to try and upcycle a bed sheet but it just wasn't meant to be so here's all my pattern pieces the body the straps tier one two and three and each one is just double the tier before so i don't think it will be too hard it's not a hard dress to make it's just time consuming because of the gathering so i'm just going to start by interfacing one of the main body fabric pieces and then i'm just going to sew the dots up on the bodies So I've just sewn up the interfaced part of the body and the non-interfaced part and it was a little bit difficult because when I tried it on it had a really um, sharp point at the bust area which I didn't like so I had to really like round off the dart so that it lays flat on my forehead. Um, so yeah, so now I'm going to put the um, fabrics right side spacing together Actually, no, 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 no. <laughs> we need to sew up the straps. I'm just gonna fold the strap in half and then I'm just gonna do a straight stitch 
and use my loop toner to just flip it inside out. Or should I make it as bias tape? You know what? I'm not gonna do it that way. I'm actually gonna turn it into bias tape and then I'm just gonna do a stitch on the side because I think that'll be better. So I'm just gonna use my bias tape maker to make these, these, <laughs> to make it into little, um, like a bias tape. So all I've gotta do is I'm gonna cut a pointed end and then I poke it through here and start to pull it through. And then as it's coming through, I iron it and then it will fold like this in half like that and then for me to make the straps I'm just gonna fold it in half again and then do a top stitch then I just trimmed the edges of the straps found the middle and cut the strap in half so I had one for each side to seal the edge I just used a lighter since my fabric was synthetic so it would melt but be careful not to burn it or catch it on fire so now I'm just gonna trap the straps between the bodice pieces so um, I've already marked where I want my straps to go so I'm just going to place the straps on top and then I'm going to pin the lining right side spacing on top of that. Oh! <laughs> I've been pinning it the wrong way this whole time. <sighs> I'm so glad I noticed that though. Once I finish sewing, I snip the corners so that when I turn it right sides out, it's nice and sharp. I also added my label onto the lining side. It would have been easier for me to do this before trapping the straps, but I forgot. Then I attached the darts together so the lining and main fabric were connected. I just did this by pinning them from the inside and sewing as close to the dart seam as possible. You want to leave a gap at the bottom a little bit wider than your seam allowance because we need to trap the skirt in between these layers. Then I just marked 2cm on both ends of the top, folded it back to that line and stitch it closed to form a case for the straps to go through. Now we can thread the straps through, so you need to cross them over at the back and then I used a paper clip to push them through the cases. And that's the top pretty much done, next I just moved on to making the skirt. So the first thing I did was sew up the side seams of each tier. I actually didn't realise that my pieces were cut into a front and back until I undid the pins. All this time I thought they were cut on the fold. So I've just finished sewing all the side seams of the tiers and I've ironed them so that it's all flat on the outside seam. And now I'm just going to overlock them. By the way guys, it's half eight and the dress is still in pieces. Like, it's going to be a late one I think. I just had so much to do today. Hey guys, quick update. My dress is still in pieces. The body's assembled. I just need to gather the, the tiered part of the dress, the skirt bit. I just finished hemming the um, bottom of the skirt, the dress. So now I need to gather all the tiers and put them together, but um, it's like nine o'clock, half nine. <sighs> I can't believe, I can't believe the whole day went by. Like it just went, Gone. Then came the longest part which was the gathering so I gathered the top of tier 2 and 3 and then attached tier 2 to the bottom of tier 1 and tier 3 to the bottom of tier 2. <laughs> it's half 11 guys <laughs> and I'm only just gathering crazy crazy crazy. I think a little bit of it's procrastination right now but when I'm getting into it it's not too bad it's just I don't know. <laughs> so obviously for the gathering I've done two rows of stitching and I haven't back stitched at the start and end. Um, I'm just going to take the top two or the top button and I'm just going to pull them so it starts to gather up the fabric. Um, I'm gathering it to match the circumference of the bottom of tier one. I like to do two rows of gathering stitches because the ruffles the gathers just come out so much nicer like i don't know how to explain it but they just drop better rather than doing one hi guys um it's um it's my birthday <laughs> my birthday is me 
my dress is still in bits but um i completed the skirt it took so long the skirt has tears now and it looks so nice so um i just need to finish the inside by overlocking it but i'll do that tomorrow and then attach the bodice to the skirt um it's not gonna be hard shouldn't be hard but um yeah i need to get some sleep now <laughs> i'll see you guys tomorrow oh, guys it's like nearly nine o'clock <laughs> um i'm going to overlock the the tears of the dress now um oh, why is it doing that we can't have these kind of problems today Hi everybody, so it's 9.35 now and um, the skirt is basically done. Um, I had to add a lining because it was too, um, it was too see-through. So I just cut a rectangle which kind of matched up to the top of tier um, one. Um, so I've just gathered it kind of because it was a bit big and just stitched it together. So the nice side of the fabric is on the inside, if that makes sense. Um, but the bottom of it isn't finished though, like I need to do a rolled hem on it. So I'll do that last. But now what I need to do is gather this into the top of the bodice. So at first I was going to sandwich the front of the skirt in between the bodice layer, but then I changed my mind. So I'm just going to try and sew it like a normal seam because I feel like it's quite bulky me doing it this way. And if I do it under the sewing machine, it might lay a bit flatter and just look better instead of top stitching it on and then the back I'll figure out a way to close the back part and I'll be risky I don't know but hopefully it works out let's just start with this one to the one one part of the um lining to turn the dress now the right way around oh there you are that's nice mm. so i'm just gonna go ahead then and sew this seam up okay so the dress is basically done like nearly so i've sewn the um front gathering and the bodice together and obviously i've just stopped over here on both sides so the back is completely open now we need to put some elastic so i'm going to measure this part of myself at the back with some elastic um let me quickly do that now so i'm just going to cut that i haven't got any white elastic like i really thought i had thin white elastic but i don't so i'm gonna have to use black and what i'm gonna do now is I want, this has to get trapped inside here so we need to fold it so that it fits the width so i'm just gonna fold it and that that width seems to be fine and then i'm gonna pin it in place all around the back okay so um i'm a bit like baffled now because obviously i need to get this piece of elastic inside the casing and the idea is pretty simple but i need them to be attached on the ends first so i think what i'm gonna have to do is sew can you see i think i'm gonna have to sew this end to this piece of the casing already and this end to this piece of the casing just so that it stays put and doesn't move like I'll, I'll do a zigzag stitch or something um, onto the inside and then as I'm sewing I'm gonna have to stretch the elastic and then eventually it will all bunch up if that makes sense oh my gosh I wasn't recording I thought I was recording that and I, I was just trapping the elastic in and it's all done now. So like when when I had the it tacked down, I was just stretching the elastic and sewing as I went along. I can't believe it wasn't recording. But um, the back is done. All I need to do now, the top is, the dress is basically done. All I need to do is um, put the, um, the back piece cover the the seam allowance in the back the front ah i can't talk but you can see <laughs> so um i don't know if i'm gonna top stitch it or or 
pin it or oh, I ain't got time to hand sew. I need to top stitch it. I think I need to top stitch it. Okay. Let me just quickly look at how all of this is fitting. The back, the elastic is just too, it's not, um, it needs to be tighter and it's literally gaping down on my back. So um, I'm going to have to seam rip like the centre bit here, pull the elastic through and then I'm just going to cut it and sew it just so that it makes it tighter. It is going to create a weak spot but um, hopefully it's still strong enough. So, um, I'm just going to do that now. I'm just going to cut this. Do not let go of this. If you let go of this, game over. And I'm just going to seam them together with a zigzag stitch. And now I'm going to stretch this so that it, I can close it back up. Ch check if it fits first yeah let me try it on quickly okay so i just tried that on and it fits perfectly now so i'm just gonna stretch and sew the back elastic part closed i'm just gonna top stitch it so that i can follow the lines that i had before okay so <laughs> we've got two more steps to complete which is just um attaching the this together on the inside and hemming the lining i'm going to pin it all together i'm just going to pin it a top stitch it, i think because honestly that's just the easiest method right now But the last step now is to just hem the bottom but um i think i'm gonna leave that to last because that's least of my worries like if i'm not able to finish that i'll just finish it tomorrow because it, it like i don't have time <laughs> so um yeah okay So that brings us to the end of the video guys i hope that you enjoyed watching me make my birthday dress i'm gonna make this a yearly thing like i'm gonna make my birthday outfit every year so that's kind of like exciting it's gonna be fun to look back at through the years um but yeah i'm really happy with how the dress came out even though i cut it fine for time starting to do it before but um it came out really nice the only it's not really an issue but fitting issue that i have is that the waist is really high up and my waist is like here probably about two inches lower so it doesn't fit exactly how it should but it still looks good I'm not gonna like it. <laughs> so um, I think that's all I've got to say really so if you enjoyed the video please like so if you enjoyed the video please like comment and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you guys next time Bye.